Paxton Products, the leader in drying solutions. Air knives and nozzles have been used for blow off and drying for years and years. These early applications used compressed air since it was readily available and energy conservation was not top of mind. During the energy crisis of the 1970s, Paxton launched the first centrifugal blower, which used only 20% of the energy when compared to the air compressor, and yet still generated high-velocity air for drying and blow-off using air knives nozzles designed for use with the blower. Since then, innovation has resulted in higher efficiency centrifugal blowers, and the air delivery devices have also evolved to improve their efficiency. Let's look first at the air knife, shown here in both stainless steel and aluminum. The air from the blower enters the top or the side of the air knife. The air is then forced out of the air knife from a continuous, uninterrupted air slot, producing a high-velocity air curtain that provides the blow-off and drying. The thrust of the air can be varied by the pressure produced by the blower, and the gap width of the slot. Air knives are most suitable for drying and blow off when the air knife can be in close proximity to the target surface, usually within four inches. When you can't get an air knife that close or when the target substrate is not a smooth surface, better drying and blow off will be achieved using a nozzle manifold. The nozzle manifold maintains thrust as far as 18 inches, so it can reach into nooks and crannies. Thrust can be varied by the pressure of the blower, as well as the size and shape of the nozzles. In about 2006, Paxton Products developed a unique solution for the food and beverage industry, the spider manifold. The spider-like arms of this manifold focused under the crown and rim of bottles and cans and was easily adjustable for different bottles and can sizes. The spider manifold soon found use in industrial and medical applications too. And while the adjustability of the spider manifold met the needs of many, some facilities needed less flexibility while still targeting the rim, crown of cans and bottles and the necks of the bottles. Additionally, many large bottling facilities were installing vision systems, which require even more exact drying to remove micro droplets. Working with one major multinational bottling company, Paxton developed the Cap Dryer, which gave enhanced drying, more controlled adjustability, and water spray containment. The Cap Dryer took bottle drying to the next level. Cap Dryer was developed to specifically dry between this lip and the cap. Uh, anyone that's filling bottles, and you probably are well aware of this, uh, any moisture that is uh, residing in that area will be false, falsely rejected by the vision system. So this was specifically designed to ensure that there was no water remaining in this area of the bottle prior to entering the vision system. So if I used one of these as the bottles come through to address this neck and cap area, yeah. could I then also have some air knives downstream Absolutely. To, prior to labeling? Absolutely. Downstream, upstream, either way. This is specific to the vision system. Comes in two different sizes. This is a full size cap dryer mm -hmm. um, that utilizes a 10 horsepower PX series blower. And then there's a half cap uh, cap dryer uh, that utilizes, I think, a seven and a half horsepower. Our apps engineers would work with you just based on the speed, the amount of water, the profile of the bottle is very important mm -hmm. um, in determining which one you need. Building on the success of the cap dryer, Paxton next looked at how to improve can drying. Traditional can drying uses two air knives angled downward in the direction of the conveyor flow, shearing water from the top off first, then working towards the bottom of the can. The length of the air knife is dependent on the speed of the conveyor and the height of the can. Effective drying is contingent on getting the angle of the air knife correct. Using the same concept as the cap dryer, putting fixed nozzles in place to ensure effective drying while still allowing height adjustability with the crank arm. The Paxton can dryer was developed. The can dryer contains two fixed air knife slots as well as top nozzles to effectively dry the tops and sides of the cans, ranging from 8 to 12 ounces, all in one small footprint. 
This is actually uh, a can dryer. We had already talked about the spider manifold that had all of the adjustable um, arms and uh, the air knives that were also user friendly and adjustable. This can dryer was designed with the air knives built into it and the, man the uh, nozzles uh, built into the top. So this is a cavity that the air enters and um, dries the sides of the cans as well as the top simultaneously. It's a rigid fixture that moves up and down. Mm -hmm. Great. Yeah, you can uh, you can dry 12 ounce and 16 ounce cans in, in this this particular one. That said, this is this is a turnkey system. It comes with a wash down enclosure. Also comes with a 15 horsepower PX. Paxton Products line of air delivery devices, coupled with the expertise and years of experience of our application engineers, will ensure that you get both the right device for your drying needs, as well as a properly sized blower to maximize efficiency. Let us design a system for you.